andrewkazer.com just enjoying the nice weather out here at my beautiful lake house and I am just kind of uh, hanging out figured I'd uh, make a video real quick so today I'm looking at a client's website Jared Pullen I shoot raw he's got that whole brand going he wants to add a link to one of his websites froknowsphoto.com into the bottom right corner of the I shoot, I shoot raw pages so today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna talk about we're gonna position an image absolutely the bottom right hand corner so I open up the FTP and I log in I get to the page I want to edit and I open the HTML and the CSS file so here we're looking at the CSS file real basic we have a Meyer and I think his name's Andrew uh, CSS reset which is you know there's a URL for it right here I'll be sure to post that up and the index PHP dot HTML excuse me real quick so first thing I want to do is go right before the ending body tag I'm just gonna input a div with an ID of we'll call it FKP link for fro nose photo link then that's exactly what we're going to put in it. We're going to put in a link to Frono's Photos. And we're going to use an image that I have already sliced off and put inside the images folder. Images. It's going to be JP. Now it's a PNG because of the transparency. Keep that in mind. Always set an alt just in case somebody doesn't know what it is. Okay, so we're going to upload that, and that's not really going to do much other than go right there. But, you know, that's it's creating a scroll, and that is definitely not where we want it. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the CSS file. But the good news is that it it is taking us to the appropriate website. So let's go back here. We're going to go to style.css. And I'm going to go to FK, the ID, FKP link. And we're going to position it, absolute. Then we want to set it about 20 pixels from the right and about 20 pixels from the bottom as well so that right there should be enough as to put it right there in the corner uh, let me move my mouse around it I'm always pointing to the screen and it never shows up so anyways now that we have that we can sit here and resize it and it goes around wherever we want and I shoot raw stays in the center and everything looks good so thanks a lot let me know if you have any questions or you know uh, oh, also you can put it in the left corner the top corner just by using things like left 20 picks uh, you know that'll set it 20 pixels from the left side of the left border of the monitor or the browser window whatever whatever smaller like no there we go. See that? There's about 20 pixels right there. Between there and there and there and there. So that is where that comes from. About 20 pixels. Okay, anyways. So you can go ahead and put anything anywhere and if things or other elements are overlapping that, you know, you can set a Z index on it that's set to a really high number in the thousands. Just crank it up. Um, I'll put Upload example code of all that down below and uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions. All right, thanks a lot for watching. AndrewKazer.com. Peace out.